Welcome back to Fitness Freak Shows, hope you're well. Today's video is going to be slightly different to what I normally do. As I said before, um, every now and then I'm going to throw in a video that's not really related to fitness, just to try and expand my audience. Um, so I throw something in there and uh, in the hope that I get other people um, interested in what I'm doing, following me on my channel. So um, yeah, that's what this one's going to be about. My last one was about the DeSalle College, the, the haunted college. Uh, it wasn't haunted, it was just old but some nasty history there anyway today's is going to be something um, again not really related. well it kind of is related it's going to be about a torch more specifically a laser um, I go camping a lot um, and I'm looking at going up to the mountains soon and one of my friends told me he suggested that I try this uh, this laser laser torch uh, by a company called wicked lasers um, you put the phosphorus uh, lens onto it and it's like this crazy amount of lumens so um, yeah I, I bought the laser uh, told it was the most uh, powerful handheld laser handheld laser you could get on the market and like it's insane that what you can pick up as a member of the public you have to pass no kidding you have to pass a test first you have to pass certain categories um, before they even consider giving you the laser so you, you could probably get someone else to redo the test for you or refresh the page and you could probably purchase it anyway but you have to pass this test then you uh, you can basically choose what type of laser it is that you want so you could have a 1.5 watt a 2 watt or a 3.5 um, anyone that's familiar with what output uh, what outputs and, and physics will know that 3.5 watts in a handheld laser is ludicrous and the plan was I'd buy the laser, get the phosphorus lens, and then I could use it when I go camping. It's like a ridiculous amount of lumens, like I said. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you the laser. I bought the laser, um, passed the test, and uh, it's mad. So, here we go. This is the 3.5 watt handheld laser. Apparently the most powerful handheld laser you can buy. So, this is weird. This is my review. So like I said, you have to pass the uh, the test first. That's the laser there on the left. You've got the, the battery there. Now you get information like this here. Um, 2,500 milliwatts. Now it's not. It's actually a hell of a lot more than that. When you get one of these things, uh, class 4 laser down there, when you get one of these things, um, it comes with a readout and a corresponding serial number. So in this case, I had this one here. And you can see where it reaches, it's way beyond 3.5, actually just above 4 there. Um, and again, the serial number at the top will correspond with the laser. Um, the beam divergence is crazy. It holds up pretty well. Now this is the sticker that comes with the laser as well. 5000 and 445. There's the serial number that corresponds. So 5,000 milliwatts, 445 nanometers there. Serial number, Bosch. And to show you the distance this thing can go at, the beam distance, if you just see there, 72761 meters. Um, beam divergence, 1.5. 3,500 milliwatts laser power. 445 nanometers. So that's it. That's the that's the laser information. You get three different versions. As far as I'm aware, this is the most advanced one at the moment. And this is it. Now this this actual test, this sorry review won't be on the uh, phosphorus um, in, uh, cap, um, but I'll do an, another one. So that's basically the laser. Like I say, I'm a bit of a a boy when it comes to gadgets like this. But the reason I have this is that I can use it when I go climbing. Hiking, I'll replace this cap here with the phosphorus lens, and it provides me with some good, good output and not bad uh, battery life either. That's the the lens there. So when you buy this, you have a smart switch you have to access as well. So you have to press this button here, and then you have a smart switch which is here uh, and there's a specific code you have an end cap here if this is pulled out the laser doesn't work and again you can undo this at the bottom 
that prevents uh, anyone using it that shouldn't use it. So as you can imagine 3.5 watts is pretty insane so they also supply you with a pair of these um, funky glasses just to protect the eyes. You can't use this laser without wearing these. It's, it's ridiculous, it's mad. Obviously if you're going to use it with the torch, sorry as the torch which I will be doing, <clears throat> you won't need to use these but as a laser um, you have to wear these. Instant blindness if you look at the uh, laser and even if it reflects off white material, paper, etc. Um, that can make you go blind instantly. So this isn't really a, well, it's more of a weapon to be honest. And again here's the battery. This is the charger. Here. So 3.5 watts. And I'm going to connect this up now. I'm going to do a few demonstrations to show you exactly what this thing can do. And um, it's crazy, but there we go. So let's crack on and have a look at this bad boy. Okay, so very quick demonstration now. Um, one thing, when you do put the glasses on, you can't really see the beam. But um, again, you, you can't really use this without using the glasses. So first of all, we're going to press the button here. That's going to flash there, so you have three modes with these lasers. You're going to go one, two, three, hold, hold. So that's on the small setting there, the lower setting. So what I'm going to do is keep my finger on the button at the back. I'm going to get two and then three lights. Now that's 3.5 watt output at least. And instantly you can see there I'm burning through my old shoe. And it smells already. It's it's instantaneous. Remember, you must be wearing your glasses when you um, use this thing. Obviously, not to point it in the sky, but it will burn through just about anything um, within reason, of course. So here's the uh, shoelace here. Where are we? There we go. You don't hang around with this one. It just goes straight through. It'll even burn through uh, white paper. I did a test there probably about a week ago. I was standing 29 feet away from a white piece of paper and it just burnt straight through. So this thing doesn't mess around. So what I'll do later on is when it's later uh, and it's darker, I'll do a test in the evening and you'll see this thing is a literal lightsaber. But I won't be using it for this. I'm literally going to be using it as a torch but it's probably handy to, to have that function as well. Um, so you can get the phosphorus laser lens which goes on here and then you can, you can use that. Another quick test, I have the laser here. My trainer, my boot is there. So what we're going to do, I'm going to try and do this one hand. Where am I? So Turn it on from there, it's gone off. One, two, three, hold, hold. There's one, two, three, full power. Now, if I go over to the shoe, and that is a fair distance, that is a fair distance already. Laser is here. And we are burning right through that shoe. And I've measured this, like I say, 29, 39 feet. This thing just keeps on burning. It's mad. And you have these little things here. Do not aim at the dogs or anything, or anyone. Three point five watt output burning for a shoe over this distance. And trust me it goes much further. Okay so as you can tell it's pretty dark and um, I'll do the quick demonstration now if I can just find this thing here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, hold, hold. So that's on low power there, 
and you can see I mean that's that's beaming into the distance quite some distance there now if I pull it into full power you can see here two three that's full power now and I mean that's that's literally going up into the mountains and if I do very quickly into the sky you can see now straight into the sky it's extremely bright so the distance on this thing is incredible the mountains are over there and all you can see is just a blue <laughs> a blue beam but trust me it's going into the distance so there we go there she is so another very quick test it's the laser here full power you can see the beam divergence and you'll see keep coming through here it's already burning through that card <clears throat> you see it there um, Yeah, I can feel the heat instantly when I do that. So, yeah, don't do any of that. And if the issue was the, the beam divergence at the target area, you can also refocus it with um, like a glass lens if that was an issue. But that's just to give you an idea what this thing can do. Of course, as cool as it is, it doesn't serve me much of a purpose really for what I intend on, on doing. Um, but there we go. So there it is. Uh, what I'll quickly do as well is I'm going to show you, if I just put that back on, I'll show you what it's like to see with the, with the glasses on. One, two, three, hold, hold. So low power, keep the finger on the button, medium power, full power. Okay, so the laser is here. This is the laser. And if you put the lens in front of the glass, so you don't really see it. You can see it just about on the wall there, but this is literally what you see. You can't see any of the beam here. Well, very, very slightly. So I've even lost it there. So that's without. Put the lens on. Dash your vision, but you really do need to wear these glasses if you're going to be doing this um, because it's insane, insane power. So, there you have it, there is your 3.5 watt output laser. For anyone interested in buying one, you can get them from wickedlasers.com. Um, like I say, you can probably get around the little test they give you. Um, they are a good company to, to um, buy from as well, they take their time shipping. But you do get the product and um, it is as good as people say, they can be fairly expensive but um, if you're interested in uh, torches as well, they do supply uh, a different type of torch and like I so you can get the phosphorus lens for this one um, which is pretty cool. So um, there we go, hope you enjoyed it, um, bosh, job done. Uh, like and subscribe if you can and follow me on the channel, this isn't my normal type of video as most of you will know now, I tend to hang off mountains. Um, do some crazy exercises, Bruce Lee style exercises and bits and pieces, go on these crazy adventures, so um, check out the links, see what you think, and uh, yeah, have a great day.